Fox Bar, is that you? Fox Bar? What? Celeste. Boozy Bar. Yes, wow, it's been so long. How long has it been? It's like 365 days, uh, give or take. No, I think it's about 364. You're a little off, but it's okay. You know what? You're right. Because it was Valentine's Day, we were making drinks, you had that good pom pom, and I had that brick she How could I forget that one? That was a good one. That was a good one. Wait a minute. I want to do that again. That was fun. Are you serious? You really want a round two? I'm always up for a challenge, but the question is, do you have your ingredients? I always have my ingredients. Do you have your tools? I'm Boozy Bar. I always have my tools. Let's do it. Let's go. Say less, Celeste. Well, hello everyone. My name is Celeste. I'm the owner of Boozy Bar. We have a bartender service. We are at Lips Cafe right now. You see that lip right there? It's real sexy, right? But anyway, we're here to make a passion fruit mojito, and today's name of the drink is Passionate from Miles Away. Passion with the things you say. All right, it's called Passion. <laughs> oh, so today we are making Passionate from Miles Away. And if you don't know where that comes from, we can't be friends. All right, to start off, come on now, we have to add ice. Always. And we always want to add enough ice. It's all about the presentation. This one from Muddling. Mm -hmm. I I love lime, so I'm gonna do a nice three. Should I put four for good luck? I put four for good luck. Mm. And I'll do like three pieces of lime. And let's do half an ounce of simple. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's muddle. This is when you have to add Ooh. your muscle in, okay? I just jumped out some of uh, Maybe I should get up for y'all. Muddle that thing. And honestly, this is the most important part. If you muddle real fast, the drink is not going to be good. I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. You got to work it. You got to work it. Got to get them juices out. Get that juice flowing. So that? So the juice flowing? All right, the most important ingredient. What do you think the most important ingredient is? The, the booze. <laughs> the booze. All right, let's do two ounces of rum. Which I think I'm gonna say a little more for good luck because we like to get boozy over here. All right, and then passion fruit puree because we're making passion from miles away. I'm gonna do one ounce of passion fruit. We have our ice, we have our mint, and our lime. Let's shake it up. And this we get your swag on. All right. Bam. And really let it blend. Let it hit from the top to the bottom. This is when the drink is really flowing. All right. Safe. Now, we cannot pour this drink in this cup without admiring this cup. She a little thick, right? <laughs> she thickums. All right, let's pour our drink into thickums. All right, and then we're gonna top it off with some club soda. You see her? I'm not gonna lie, she is thick. Mm. Do you see this? Looking good. Looking good. And if you know Boozy Bar, if you don't, I will let you know now. The garnish is my favorite part. Mm. So we're gonna do a lime wheel. I'm gonna add some mint. And I like to get a pretty. Right, look closely right there. Right, and we're gonna add pretty self in the middle of that wheel. And she's so cute. I'm gonna add her on top. 
Oh. And then we have our passion knit from miles away. I like that. And I would do the honors. This is boozy. Mm -hmm. Let's get boozy, y'all. Mm -hmm. Damn, this is good. Damn, I felt it. Oh, shit. Y'all want to taste this? <laughs> Told you. This is good. I'm gonna keep it a thousand with you. Okay. This is really, really good. The moment I had it, it's cold as hell in New York. You know how it is in February. The weather reporter goes, it's brick. That's it. Right. Like, this is taking me to a tropical island. The driver, he pull up, he don't stop at all. And he just be on some, yo, I got a drink for you. The passion fruit. I thought when you had said you were only gonna muddle the limes, it might not be enough lime, but it was just what was needed. The passion fruit is in the forefront of the cocktail and therefore you just are appreciating that and the rum the rum it go down the 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 the, the, the passion fruit hold the rum's hand walks it in and then it's like yo i got this rum here for you and boom okay. we drinking so this Yay. yeah so is it safe to cheers it is safe to cheers, cheers. happy valentine's happy this is valentine's. amazing okay so today we're making a cocktail i'm naming it on the spot because I had some ingredients, I was trying to follow a recipe. I didn't like how that turned out, so I'm just gonna freestyle it. Uh, first off, my name is Fox, uh, your favorite local bartender. I will be anywhere the money is and where people are drinking, so you'll find me wherever. And then the next thing I wanna do is shout out Lips Cafe, Flatbush's very own, black owned cafe. It's February, yeah, it's the month of love, but it's the month of melanin, nigga. <laughs> On top of that, we also have our sponsor of the day, uh, New England Stillwater Distillery. This is a black owned bourbon brand. They shouted me out recently and they provided us our bourbon for the day for our, uh, our, our cocktail that I'll be making today. So I just want to shout out Clark and Chesterfield Bourbon Whiskey. Get yourself a bottle. You can get it online or you can find it at your nearest local, hopefully black owned liquor store. Support one another is key, it's vital. But, Time to talk about what's really vital. Getting drunk on Valentine's Day. Cause somebody said, let's do this round two. And she thought I was coming to play. I'm honey packtivated. Let's get it going. So we're gonna take our shaker here. Take that bottom half, put the bigger one over here. I'm thinking because we're using grapefruit as our citrus, we're gonna do it a little bit strong. We're gonna do about one ounce. And I'm gonna put a little bit more. It's gonna be a little tart with that. But it's okay. I'm gonna balance it out with our sweetness. I'm gonna close that up. Don't want no flies in it. Here we've got two things in our hand. One is a berry syrup. It's a blackberry syrup. I taught myself how to make this the other day for a big party. Nailed it. Add some strawberries and some blackberries. Put it in the pot. Cooking it up like I'm pushing tea. Then I've got this here. It's our sage rosemary syrup. That original recipe they said make this. Maybe it's on. Maybe it's off. But I think they're gonna balance each other out well. Something sweet, something a little bit savory, a little herbaceous. What are we thinking? All right, I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna do, ooh, let's just say 33.33 in there, boom. Then after that, we're gonna take our 
simple here, our blackberry simple syrup. I'm gonna do just close to half. Bingo. From there, I'm gonna take this Campari. Campari, it is a digestif, it's a bitter. You can add it to whatever you like. It can definitely balance out tartar drinks. So sometimes, tartar, is that even a word? No, tartar is like for your teeth. It can balance out a drink that's more tart because it's got more citrus. So we go from there, but we got a lot of sweetener in there. So we're gonna do just under half an ounce of this Campari. Now, back to our very own. Been a big fan of Uncle Nearest, but as of lately, I'm a big fan of this Clark and Chesterfield. The gentleman in the story, he says that his grandfather used to take him down south all the time and taught him how to distill bourbon. And now he's got it all the way up there in New England. So, shouts out to you again. I'm gonna do 1.5. Glug, glug, glug. Oh, a little bit more for good luck, as Boozy would say. Gotta shout her out. Another black business you should be supporting. If I'm not available on the calendar, you need to go hit her up. Got a whole team. Hmm, smells all right. Brought his metal uh, straw so we could taste that before I waste my time. Hmm, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this here. This one's got a savory kick to it, but I'm gonna do that. And some more bourbon. <laughs> I got nothing to lose. All right, ice. Grab here. I mean, I move too fast. Time to shake. Okay. I hope this is good. <laughs> I really made this up on the spot, but I wasn't about to not give you guys an episode. We're going to double strain this so we can get these ice shards out. It's got that great Valentine's Day uh, aesthetic. That's a pretty color, right? Who don't like it pink? Put this down. I'm gonna take some of this dragon fruit and we shall garnish it. Did I slice this? Yes, I did. Oh, no. Nah. She's sexy. She don't have a BBL like that glass that Boozy had, but I think it's attractive. But the most important thing, forget how she look, what it looks like, it's important how it tastes. So it's time for me to try it. And I'm gonna be honest with myself, we'll see what we got. Mm. It's all right. It's all right. I like it. I like it. It's herbaceous. It's smooth. It's hold chill. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to just interrupt. Let me try this. Let me try this. Hold Go on. for it. Yeah, those faces, that's pure confusion. That's how peculiar my drink was. Um, I liked it, but it ain't for everybody. You, who? Who, me? Me? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. that's, uh, we did a few takes, and I'm pretty sure both of us are drunk right now. So I'm going to get to the point. No, you, first of all, you can't say drunk. Say, I'm boozy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you boozy right now? Yeah, I'm mad drunk. But what you call it? <laughs> <laughs> Your drink, it's a winner. It's for sure definitely taking me somewhere. Okay. Valentine's, if I'm by myself or not, uh, this is a drink I'm definitely going to have. So good. Very and good. I, I mean, I guess you like my drink, and I love your drink. I love bitters. Mm. I love that vibe. So It's working for you. It's working for you. So, I'm going to say cheers. Cheers. This was a good round, too. Round two. Up for the challenge. Were you up for the challenge? Of course. Like, I, I think you that. came through. I think I came through too, shoot. Okay. I think I did. I pretty think you damn. did that, Fox Bar. Yeah. Yo, listen, I appreciate y'all for staying tuned for this episode. Mm -hmm. Celeste, it's always right. a pleasure it's working with you. The rest of the crew in the back, our, your opinions and thoughts, we appreciate y'all for keeping it a stack. You can, camera one, you can show that everybody. You know, whether you like it or love it, we appreciate y'all even trying it out. But uh, yeah. For all that, definitely come and support. And um, Lips Cafe, this is where it's at. We're in Flatbush this time, baby. Where, where will we be next time?
So yeah, oh, no. cheers. Happy Valentine's Day. Until 364 days later. <laughs> like, when I first had it, I definitely thought about the person in the back of the, uh, the cafe making mad noise. Not messing with you. Ah! But... <laughs> No. What you call it? No, we still rolling?